Hi, I'm Mike Trojan, Chief Administrative Officer, and we're here today to talk about beet juice. Uh, the region started using beet juice last year uh, as an innovation in our uh, winter control program. Uh, it's gained a fair bit of interest, uh, both locally uh, with neighboring municipalities, um, across the province, and we've even had inquiries from as far away as Europe. And joining us today is our uh, resident beet juice expert, Dave McLeod, Manager of uh, Operations and Technology. So welcome, Dave. Thank you, Mike. Like, why beet juice? Exactly what is it and why are we using it? Well, it's an organic byproduct of the sugar beet manufacturing uh, process. It was discovered about 11 years ago by an engineer who accidentally uh, stumbled upon it. He found an area of water that was open in a river. Uh, as the rest of the river was frozen and it was... Uh, he, his you know, interest was that uh, why is that and uh, it turned out that this product uh, because it has high in uh, carbohydrates actually generates a lot of heat when it breaks down so it was introduced into the winter control operations and uh, we took upon ourselves and took a pilot project last year and ran it to see if there was any real benefit to it and uh, turns out that both environmentally and financially it, it's in our best interest. And uh, Dave, exactly how do we use it in the winter control operations? Well, we use it as a, a pre-wet agent. Um, salt itself does not work uh, in, in its solid form. It has to be in a salt brine. And by adding this uh, product, this uh, sugar beet product, uh, it actually allows us to reduce the salt content and continue the process of uh, breaking down and uh, generating the salt brine and making it last longer on our roads. And also because it's sticky and tacky, it stays within the road areas a lot longer and uh, giving us better coverage with uh, reduced application rates. So Dave, how does it get applied to the roads? We actually apply it in two different methods as pre-wet uh, application where it actually treats the salt or coats the salt before it is dispersed or uh, the direct liquid application where it's the lines that appear in the road that people are always questioning and it's, uh, it actually is applied through nozzles on the truck and uh, we ask uh, that you know when people are following the vehicle that they stay back we do have warning signs uh, and at that point uh, sometimes the spray does get on the vehicles and uh, we is do it, get calls. Is it safe? I mean is it safe if I get it on my, my vehicle? It's a hundred percent safe. It's organic um, and all it is is just uh, it's a little bit of salt, uh, salt brine with an organic product and it washes off vehicles with just soap and water and there's no worry about staining or anything of that. And, and finally, Dave, what, what are the benefits? Uh, you know, is it, is it cheaper to use than, than other products? Oh, by far. Uh, as far as the cost is concerned, because we can reduce our application by 20 to 30 percent, we're saving on average between four and 7,000 ton of salt year, on a yearly basis, which works out to about $200,000 just in material costs alone. And in addition to that, we end up uh, environmentally. I mean, we, we're, we're not putting as much road salt into the environment. So it's a win-win all the way around. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thanks very much, Dave. You're uh, welcome. So that's Thank how you. we're using a food byproduct uh, to save money, to save the environment, and improve road safety. Thanks, Mike.